case you haven't heard, the list of states falling victim to drought conditions has expanded beyond the southern plains. California farmers have been dealing with a lingering drought in a state where water availability for agriculture use is already a big issue. Experts say the drought in California could cost the ag industry $2.2 billion. But some farmers there are finding no-till and modern irrigation methods can help them get more crop production from each drop of water. Oakland, California writer and blogger Olivia Maki reports that Paul and Elizabeth Kaiser, who grow more than 100 kinds of fruit and vegetables on only 8 acres, parted with their tractor and plow seven years ago. After dealing with a two-year transition period, they credit no-till with boosting soil organic matter levels from 2.3% to more than 6% at a 12-inch depth. Taking advantage of the improved water holding capacity of no-till soils, the Kaisers use drip irrigation to water crops every five to six days. This is a good reminder of how no-till practices serve as a buffer to intense weather events. The Institute for Atmospheric and Climate Science in Switzerland released a study in July suggesting no-till practices can lower surface temperatures by as much as 4 degrees Fahrenheit during summer months, reducing moisture evaporation in the top 2 inches of the soil. When the rain does come, the water infiltration rate for untilled soils is 5.6 inches an hour, according to the NRCS, compared to 2.6 inches with conventionally tilled soils. Think about this. What could you do in the southern plains with an extra 3 inches of soil water dumped by the big thunderstorms? As farmers look for ways to deal with weather extremes, Paul Kaiser urges them to think outside the tillage box. No-till is so vastly different from the past 10,000 years of farming that one has to really commit to understanding soil science, soil biology, and ecology. Of course, adopting no-till on farms that span thousands of acres is a lot more difficult than doing it on eight acres, but I think the small farm example illustrates why no-till will likely be needed in the coming decades to deal with intense weather cycles. Thanks for listening and make it a great day.